This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Jane Stott back with me in the studio. You've done uh, Zoom a few times over COVID, but it's, it's always lovely to have you in the studio. It's wonderful to get back in the studio. And you're with Studio Theatre at Perth, and you guys are so busy. Uh, I always seem to have somebody here at least every six weeks <laughs> because you generate so many plays. Well, that is the plan, That's and uh, <laughs> we do that pretty well from September right through until June, and then give our actors a bit of a break over the summer and then start right back again in the fall. Now you're here to talk about the, the most upcoming play right now too and you're the director of it. Yes I am. Uh, and it is called Tempting Providence. Yes. And it's about a nurse named Myra Bennett. Or her maiden name was Grimsley. Correct. And uh, she's got a lovely bio about her too. So it's educational and it's uh, humorous you say. And uh, let, let, yeah, tell the folks about it. I certainly will. Well, I started, um, when I got the job for directing this, I decided to go to Newfoundland. So last summer I went there and traveled the whole coastline that Myra Bennett would have traveled, uh, mostly on foot, sometimes by a horse and sleigh in the wintertime, or sometimes by boat in the summer. And she was the sole uh, health provider for the whole of the Great Northern Peninsula, about 300 kilometers. Wow, wow. And uh, she was the only one, and I mean, uh, talk about resilience. Amazing lady. Yeah, and she was young too. She was under 30 when she came here. Uh, she had trained as a midwife in uh, London and they were calling for nurses to go to Canada to some of the uh, outlying areas and she signed on for two years to go to um, the Great Northern Peninsula. And, uh, but she ended up staying for the rest of her life. She came over, fell in love, had a family and uh, stayed for the rest of her life. And as she died there, she was 100 years old in wow. 1990. Yeah, we just had the, the, the good people from Gander, Newfoundland here for Welcome to the Rock uh, to talk about the, the tragic events of 9-11 uh, in 2001. But we learned so much. We knew it. We knew the, the good folks in Newfoundland are just so welcoming. And this is almost a, a little bit what you, what you call the come away from, uh, come from away but she never went home. Exactly. Yes, so we're learning more about Newfoundland, which uh, we're so proud of. <laughs> I have so many friends in Newfoundland right now visiting. It's become quite, uh, quite the place to go. I, I got to talk about the versatility of the, the, your actors. My goodness, you come in, you did, just did nonsense. You've done things people have to know how to sing, the, the humor, and now we're going to learn here too. But you say there's a bit of humor involved in it too. There is a, a delightful uh, touch of humor uh, to this, and it's, it's all about community. Um, and the two of the actors, um, Christine Williams and uh, Gian Paolo uh, Latanzio, between the two of them, they play over 14 roles. They play the whole community in Daniel's Harbor. And set to, uh, to play opposite them are Angus Bennett, who uh, ends up marrying Myra Grimsley, and then, of course, the nurse, Myra Bennett. And this takes place in when? 1920. 1920. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is, the, we're going to look so forward to this too. Tempting Providence. Now, how did that name come about? Well, it's actually mentioned in the play um, when Myra and her uh, almost then fiance are out uh, rowing on the lake. Um, she says, you know, uh, I almost didn't make it here because my ship was set to sail on Friday the 13th. And the crewmen in Liverpool were refusing to set sail. First of all, they didn't want a woman on board. And secondly, that was the, the most superstitious day of the year. And they were almost in tears saying, that's tempting providence. Do not go over on fr Friday the 13th. And of course, she went anyway. She was a very strong young woman with a really uh, dedicated work ethic, quite strict. Um, but she uh, managed to soften a little bit when she met all the lovely people of Newfoundland and eventually fell in love and married and had a family. Now, you're the director of the play. Yes. You, you say that she covered 300? 300 miles. 300 miles. You've got a stage to do this in. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> well, we have a, an amazing set design uh, that basically uh, wraps around the sides and the front and the back of the stage with different scenes. It's almost like uh, you're going to see the murals. I don't know if you've ever been to San Francisco, to the Mission District, and you've seen the murals there. Mm -hmm. These are huge murals, about the size of garage doors or bigger, of, of the seascape, of... Uh, the little houses, colorful houses up on the hill of a field where there's a fence and where they're going to be uh, growing turnips and potatoes, uh, the interior of a house. So they're all around and the actors move from one oh. uh, set to another um, and they, um, the lighting will follow them. Also an interesting thing about this play is the actors never leave the stage. 
So if, say, perhaps uh, Myra is uh, being courted by Angus uh, after coming out of an imaginary house after a dance, uh, the other parts of the stage go uh, a little bit darker, but the other two actors just sit on little stools, little benches against the wall, and then when it's their turn, uh, it's almost like a dance. They will move around and the other actors will come forward and front and centers and the light will go on them. It's never dark, the actors never leave the stage. The costumes, um, very elegant costumes uh, designed by Laurie Tennant, um, they're not uh, overly done and if they're changing character, it might just be putting on a shawl or putting on a hat or an apron and then that identifies them. Well, especially for the woman, she plays uh, seven different women. Uh, and the man, I believe, plays five different men, including uh, a seven-year-old boy and uh, a farmer. And so uh, there's not a lot of costuming, not a lot of set. Our set is uh, a wonderful uh, bench and, uh, sorry, four benches and a table. Uh, the set was designed by Reiner Silberhorn. And the uh, table and the four benches serve in the uh, house, but also they are, when flipped over, the table becomes a boat. It also becomes a sleigh in the wintertime, and uh, the benches go inside. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's not all about just the, the actors on stage. There's so many people oh. in the backgrounds helping to yes. put a play together. Yeah, it's, it's all about community, and even in the community as far as Perth itself, we have a really supportive community there. Um, Mariposa Design uh, has given us her window, uh, uh, Susan Story, and we've got a beautiful display in there advertising for that. And um, the local uh, watch dealer at the, the uh, farmer's market has loaned us some of his watches so we can have period watch pieces. Wow. So everybody gets involved in the community and it's really uh, a full-blown production. Oh, that's what small town's all about. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> the dates for your, your, your play. Uh, June 15 to 25. Uh, three evening performances each Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then a matinee on Sunday afternoons. All right, and how do you get tickets? ticketsplease.ca or at the door and um, I believe they're going quite well so you might want to not wait too long it's we've been really also uh, talking to our local hospitals uh, our retired nurses because for somebody like that it's not all about nursing nursing is the backbone of it but it's about uh, certainly has to do with the history of nursing because uh, this started uh, I believe Myra was one of six nurses that was sent over in, in 1920 from England. Uh, I, I, before we got went on air, we were talking about this is a celebration of nursing. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. 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 Oh, we look forward to this one. Tempting Providence starts June 15th at our Studio Theatre Perth. Uh, thank you very much for coming again. I, I, I mean, it's, it just seems like you were just here, so you're so busy. You're so busy. And we are. We you, are. you do a lot of the directing. Um, I try and do at least one show a year. Mm -hmm. um, I will be mentoring this summer uh, because over the summer, we have got two other plays auditioning for the fall. So we have a brand new uh, director, Anne-Marie Polis, is going to be directing our fall production, and I will be mentoring her. And then we have another production coming up in November, Christmas one, Ethan Claymore by Norm Foster, so that's going to be fun. Excellent. And also we have um, Outer Bridge Mysteries coming over the summer. Yes. So they're going to be at our theater, I believe, eight times over the summer as wonderful. well. Wonderful. Ted and Mary and Outer Bridge, yes. wonderful people. Yes. So we'll be busy with them as well. But check out uh, studiotheaterperth.com and you'll find out all about that. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us You're today. very welcome. Once again, Jane Stott, Director of Tempting Providence, starts June 15th. Thank you.